Okay, so it turns out that some of you may not have the equipment or the wherewithal to get the different kinds of things that um, you can do with this lab. Um, there's a video about what you need. Um, even if you have sports balls, um, you can use sports balls of different sizes that contain gas to do these calculations. However, if you don't have it, I am supposed to do, do a lab for you, which is not what I wanted. Um, so you need three kinds of bags of gas. So we blow up a balloon, and our first calculation will be about this balloon. So you're supposed to take a string, wrap it around the middle. Um, I'm going to make a mark on my string. There we go. And then wrap this around. And make another mark on the string. Okay, so my distance around the circumference is this value. So I need to measure that. Um, and I have a ruler up here to help me measure. So the first measurement uh, will be let's bring that up, 25 and a half, so small. Right. Um, another possibility for a bag is a Ziploc bag. So we're going to use that because it's going to be bigger. Um, in fact, we're going to go with a bigger Ziploc bag. Um, and to do this, you need to um, open it up, try and get as much air as possible inside, and then. Using a straw, I have a pencil tube, um, I have another one. Now, ideally, you wouldn't have to always use a string. You might have a um, flexible ruler to wrap around, and I do. Props to Ikea for supplying this. 35.8, so our second measurement of the medium balloon And then finally, trash bag that I uh, filled up, tied off, um, and so I'm going to do the same thing here, is wrap this around and find volume. Now the reason we're doing this is uh, we just keep talking about moles and we keep talking about volume and we don't talk about what that really means. and so. Hands in the way here. There we go. So that is put this round. Pull the macro. It's hard to do. Um, Seventy six point six. Okay, so that's how you're going to do it. A little bit for the rest of the class. Let's go down. Um, if you only have an inch ruler, uh, you can uh, wrap the string around it until you get the number of inches and then convert the inches into centimeters. Put your inch number here, multiply by 2.54. You don't have to really divide by one and that'll give you centimeters. So we need centimeters for our formula 
So um, let's just imagine that we do this calculation. Um, we measure 10 inches, so we get 25.4 centimeters. Uh, to do this calculation, a lot of people are like, I don't know how to do that. Remember, all that cubed means is multiply by three. So you do 25.4 times 25.4 times 25.4. And then you have a, a square here, so you can do six times 3.14. And then you just repeat it again, because you're squaring it. You don't need no fancy calculator. You can do that on your um, iPhone or Android. Uh, so that's the calculations you have to do. Um, lab's all done. The idea is that it's a quick lab trying to think about how much is inside of here. And I will tell you that that is about half a mole, right? A mole of gas is this much, and a mole of solid is that much. So twice as much as this versus that little block inside there. Um, so a mole of gas expands a lot. Okay. Uh, preferable, do your own lab if you uh, need the numbers because you have issues at home trying to do labs. Here are the numbers you use. A little bit of a glare. 25.5, 35.8, 76.6. Okay. Off you go.